Pulling cover crops is one technique farmers use to reduce runoff and improve soil health. As Craig Gotro shows us, a farmer in central Louisiana and researchers with the LSU Ag Center are experimenting with traditional and non-traditional cover crops like radishes to determine which ones provide the most benefit. In a field just north of Simsport, Reuben Dozad is surrounded by radishes, an unusual crop for these parts. Dozad has no intention of eating them, but is using the radishes as a cover crop to prevent his topsoil from escaping. After preparing the field for planting, Dozad is anxious to see the results of his experiment. They came up beautiful this year. The weather cooperated and we just had a super year for the radish to grow. So I, I really am anxious to see what kind of corn crop we're going to have behind it. LSU Ag Center scientists are conducting research with the radishes along with other cover crops such as crimson clover, cereal rye, and winter wheat. I think farmers are really starting to understand the benefits of putting a cover out there. Uh, they can burn it down and plant into it in the spring and, and, and sometimes they can get some of the nitrogen back um, that they wouldn't normally get. Using radishes as a cover crop is popular in the Midwest and is beneficial to soils that compact easily. The tuber produced by the radishes also helps with water retention. And it's to help break the hard pan if you have that type of soil uh, where you have that problem, allows the water to percolate down in there um, and eventually allows the, the plants, you know, the, the crops that you plant to be able to get access to that water. Last year, Dozat planted soybeans behind his radishes and saw no difference in yield. This finding did not deter him from planting them again because he believes that cover crops still provide a valuable benefit. If you don't hold the soil, it's going. You know, it's going to go in the tributaries and you're going to lose your topsoil and eventually you won't have anything. Morgan says one factor in managing cover crops is coming up with recommendations to terminate the cover crop in a manner that will benefit farmers and not hamper future plantings. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting. The radishes used as cover crops are not edible and I'm told by Craig Gotro they have a rather distinctive odor similar to fish oil. I guarantee you won't want to eat them. Yeah, that face, thousand words right there, Kristen. I have nothing to respond to that. <laughs>